thank you for joining us for Bible Bits and Clips on this Wednesday, the 5th day of October. It's already the 5th day. It's already 1-6 through October. Now we're going to be speeding right through to Thanksgiving, and then before you know it, it's the Christmas holidays. Well, let's talk about today. Do I have to go to church? Really? Why? We're going to talk with Alistair Big for a couple of minutes, so have a listen, leave a comment, hit subscribe, tell us what you think. You see, the converted individual doesn't ask, do I have to go to church? A converted individual does not actually ask, why do I have to go to church? A converted individual does not say, why is the church so important? I have an iPad. I have a phone. I can do this here. I can listen on my own. If you're truly converted, you may think that from time to time because you want to do something other than attend church because it puts a demand on you. But in your heart of hearts, you know that's not what you're saying. If you're converted. Now, you see, the converted person is saying, where can I find God's people? They go out of town on a business trip. And they, they, they say, I need to find some people that love Jesus. The, 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 the converted individual is saying, uh, where can I enjoy Christian fellowship? The converted individual is saying, where can I hear the word of God taught to me? Where can I hear the Bible expounded? You see, the non-Christian doesn't say that. An unconverted person doesn't say that. It never ever occurs to them. I guarantee you, you can walk up to somebody in the street and say, when's the last time you were walking down the street and you said to yourself, where can I find the word of God taught to me? And if they answer yesterday, then you know the spirit of God is a work within their heart, so you get the four spiritual laws out and take care of the problem right there. Okay? The fact is, it is a radical and it is a dramatic change. Faith makes the greatest of distinctions. Faith in Jesus makes the greatest of distinctions. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. There's one group. But to those who received him, who believed on his name, there's another group. You can't be in two groups at once. By nature, no thank you. By grace, amazed. Isn't that amazing? Well... Leave your 